Hi, I'm Kenny, and today I'm going to be reading the book A Good Game by Jenny Chen and illustrated by Shu Ti Lao. It's the day of the championship final. Parents, friends and fans gather around the soccer pitch to watch team stars and team epics play the season's most important match. OK, gather round, everyone, shouts coach. We all need to work together as one team today. Pass the ball, find your teammates and look for Kevin when we attack. Victor, you're the goalie. Organise the defence and remember, your position to make the save. If only I can get off the bench and into the game today, thinks Beck. Team stars! We're all stars! Coach shouts out loud. The team huddles and builds their energy chanting, Star! Star! Superstars! Victor, who's wearing the number one jersey, says to himself, I'm the best. Coach trusts me to play a good game, and the team needs me. I will do everything I can to stop the Epics from scoring. The match kicks off at a furious pace. The Epics attacking Victor's goal. When the Stars get the ball, they go forward and pass the ball to Kevin to lead their attacks. Both teams are competing fiercely, neither giving anything away. The game goes into the second half and the score is tied at 1-1. A crowd is shouting and cheering, encouraging both teams to score the winner. Ouch! Out of my way! Oh, so close, nearly another goal. Suddenly, a player goes down. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Coach looks to the bench and says, Beck, warm up. Get ready, we need you to play. Apex attack again. The Stars defenders can't get the ball. Epic striker goes through and he shoots. Victor dives to make the save. Yes! Victor clutches the ball and jumps up right away, ready to pass the ball to his teammates. He sees Beck. There is no one around him. Victor shouts, Beck! and throws the ball out to him. The ball flies through the air. Beck closes his eyes and kicks as hard as he can. The ball loops up into the air, over Victor, and into the star's goal. Oh no. That's the wrong goal, shouts Kevin. What are you doing? Coach yells. Oh, Beck, cried his parents. The referee blows a whistle and gives the goal to the Epics. The fans sigh in disbelief. Beck stands alone on the pitch, his head down, fighting back the tears. Stars, let's go! We still have time to score! A loud voice cuts through the jeers and moans, it's, it's Victor. Runs out to Beck and puts his arm around his slumped shoulders. Head up, Beck. We cannot give up. We play right to the end. Anything is possible. The fans go silent as they watch Victor and Beck. Then one, two, and all of the fans rise to their feet and cheer Victor, Beck and the team. The match resumes. Both teams play hard, but time is running out. Hew, hew, hew. The referee blows the whistle. The game is over. The Stars lose 2-1. The Stars are down. They lost. However, their fans are cheering the team like they've won. When the Stars receive their second place trophy, they get the loudest applause. Everyone sees the effort they put into the game. Later, the players are in the changing room talking about the game. Victor, you made me proud today, said Victor's mum. She puts the plaster on his arm. I did? asked Victor. I knew Beck didn't mean to score an own goal. You showed him kindness. And that's true sportsmanship. 
Beck slowly raises his hand and says, Sorry, everyone. There's no need to apologise. Victor stops Beck before he could finish. Victor gets the team together. We're a team. We stick together. Even when we lose. Everyone on the team agrees. They tell Beck, we didn't win today, but we played a good game. We will win the next time. Let's go out onto the pitch and cool down together. The players are stretching out and resting on the field when they hear a shout. It's ice cream time! The star's mothers are surprising everyone with a treat. Three scoops for everyone. First scoop is for friendship. The second scoop is for teamwork. And the third is for sportsmanship. This book is about a team trying their best to win and the sportsmanship, understanding and teamwork they discover along the way, even when things go wrong. It's an inspirational story that may surprise you at the end. Also, at the back of the book, it has some soccer trivia and explains how lots of countries had their own version of soccer way back in history and how it's developed. We also tell you about the soccer ball and why the colour is important and the jersey and what not to do with your jersey on the pitch. And finally, the ball is round, which is a famous quote by a manager of the German national team saying, the game is very simple. As long as you keep your teamwork and your belief together, anything is possible. I hope you enjoyed the book as much as I did. Thank you.